Chapter 10 Okay, I'll tell you the truth. As much as I tried to get into the tea scene, it just wasn't doing it for me. Don't get me wrong, I respect the culture and all that, but I'm an espresso man through and through. That thick, creamy foam, that jolt of energy, that smooth Italian taste. It's like liquid gold, you know. But the thing is, when I landed in Shanghai, I realised that espresso was kind of a foreign concept here. People preferred tea, which is fine and all, but tea wasn't giving me the kick I needed to get through the day. There I was, sipping on this stuff, when it hit me. I knew what this city was missing, and it wasn't another trendy bar with a group of millennial hipsters posing for Instagram. No, what Shanghai needed was a real bar. The kind of coffee shop that makes you want to shout, Mamma Mia! and kiss your fingers like some Italian stereotype. I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate a good sparkling drink or a cappuccino before 11.45am, but there comes a time when you just want to taste the coffee without all the frills. So I began to fantasise about my little bar, where the only thing we would serve would be pure, unadulterated espresso. None of that pumpkin spice, cinnamon or syrup nonsense, just the goodness of coffee. To me, coffee wasn't just a beverage, but a complete sensory experience. I wanted every sip to be like a dance on the tongue, an explosion of flavours and aromas that took you to another place, away from the stress and worries of everyday life. But how could I make this dream a reality? I had never run a bar before, and my culinary experience was limited to cooking pasta al dente. Of course, the idea that I would run a bar was ridiculous. But why let a little thing like inability stop you from realising a dream, right? I could imagine it all in my head. My customers walking in, their tired and worried faces lighting up at the first sip of my perfectly prepared coffee. The Italian flag proudly waving on the wall. The aroma of freshly made coffee wafting through the air. And me, the barista guru of the bean. And who better than me to create all of this? So I began to get excited, imagining myself as some kind of coffee crusader, fighting against the tyranny of fizzy drinks and syrupy blends. Obviously it was all just a dream at this point. Maybe one day I will serve the best espresso on this side of the Yellow River. Maybe one day I'll be sipping a perfect coffee while the rest of Shanghai follows me.